In a previous video, I showed you how you could use a micro bit to create a Bluetooth beacon that your droid would interact with, and that included an extension that I, I coded for the micro bit. Well, since that video came out, a new version of the micro bit was released. That new version will not work with the extension that I created. The runtime environment for the micro bit has changed and it removed the API layer that I was using to create Bluetooth beacons. So that code won't work with version 2 micro bits. Version 1 micro bits will continue to work just fine. So if you're interested in using a micro bit to create a Bluetooth beacon that you can then make your droid uh, respond to. <laughs> you will need to get your hands on a version 1 micro bit, not a version 2 micro bit. Along with that change in the runtime, there was a change in the make code environment, which is what I used that, that web-based interface to uh, create the programs for the micro bit. And the current version of the make code environment doesn't work with the extension again because of the change to that runtime environment but they still they still have a version 1 make code environment for the the version 1 micro bit and my extension still works there so i've recreated the two demo programs that i had in that new version 1 environment and hopefully that will still work you know more than a few months from now and I will put the links to that down below. I will also put links to where you can download the hex files, the compiled code for the, the micro bit for those two examples. So that if in the future, anyways, I will include in the description below links to where you can download the hex files for the two demos. That way, if the make code environment again changes sometime in the near future, uh, there's still a place where you can at least go and download the, the pre-compiled versions that I have created. And these versions, uh, this is one of them, uh, lets you go through all the different location beacons, one, two, all the different, and then all the different droid personalities uh, with the right uh, button and then, you know, shake it to reset everything. Which, if you watch the first video about the Bluetooth extension, which again I'll link to down below, will walk you through all of this stuff. And if you want to make your own make code uh, program for your micro bit, your version 1 micro bit, the version 1 make code environment is still currently working. All the instructions in the old video work just as long as you're in the version 1 make code environment. Is this complicated enough yet? <sighs> So what about version 2 micro bits? Well, the API layer that I was using is gone. And so now if I want to do any Bluetooth stuff, I have to program my extension as if I were programming directly against the, the NRF chip that's on the back here somewhere, the microcontroller. And that is a little more complicated, and I, at present, have no idea where to even begin to do that. So for now, uh, if you want to use my extension, you're going to have to go with a version 1 micro bit. And maybe down the line, I will have time to try and figure out the version 2 micro bits. But for now, if you want a Bluetooth be beacon that your droid will respond to, you're going to need to use the version 1 micro bit. Okay, end of rant. Have fun.